Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. To the place of the animals go. So I just got back from Repticon in Costa Mesa and I did pick up three new additions. Well, two main ones and then one is just like bugs, but I want to still show you guys. Also, I got some plants for my live variums and a really nice background for my color religion. So let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so I didn't pick up too many things at the show this time, but I did get three new additions. So I'm sure that's all you guys care about is the new additions. So let's go ahead and get to them right now. So right here are one of the frogs that I've been wanting for the longest time. So here are two red-eyed tree frogs. So they are both adults right there. There is one awake. Look how bright that is, awesome. And look at those eyes. Of course, they are nocturnal, so right now they're supposed to be sleeping right now, but I woke him up. Um, let's go ahead and put him back in there. I believe, um, I, for I forgot which one's, uh, I think this is a female right here female and a male right there but they are really hard to breed but I don't plan on breeding them though but I just wanted to have a pair right here is the other one you can see that she is sleeping right there but what gets me is those huge red eyes look at that guys so awesome I can't wait to see them at nighttime just walking around climbing branches and seeing that blue spotting on the side of their bodies but yeah, guys, I'm super excited to have these two new frogs added to my collection. When I went to Costa Rica, me and Chris were having the hardest time finding red-eyed tree frogs, but now I have a pair of my own. So really cool that I can see these guys every single day. And you guys know what that means. Two new names for two new frogs. So comment them down below. I didn't mean to hit that. Comment them down below. Get really creative with these guys. They have red eyes. They are male, female. Um the red eye tree frog so get creative with the names in the comments down below okay next up are these awesome porcilio ornatus high yellow isopods so you might be thinking why did you buy roly polies these are fancy roly polies okay guys like guess how much 10 of them cost guess right now okay if you guess 100 dollars, you were right these things are expensive but the reason they're expensive is because these are a little bit more rare than usual. These, I'm going to show you a picture right now so you guys can see what they look like as adults because you're probably thinking this is it right here, but check this out. Exactly, look how cool those things look like, okay? Not your ordinary roly polies. But these guys are a culture of six of them. So that was only like $50. Well, only, <laughs> you probably think that's still a lot, but... For these kind of isopods, I got them for a good deal. These right here are not full size grown yet. As you can tell, they don't, don't look like the picture yet. They are starting to get some yellow. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. And some black spots. But as adults, these guys grow up to one inch. One inch isopods, guys. That's crazy big. So these are going to go in my dark frog enclosure. They are big enough so that the dark frogs do not eat them, so that's going to be really cool seeing these as adults and dark frogs living together in the live vivarium. Isopods are basically like a cleanup crew. They are the janitors of the live vivariums. And if you want a healthy, naturalistic live vivarium, you must have isopods and springtails. So I am also culturing my own springtails, which I add in my enclosures. They don't last long because the dark frogs eat them, but these guys are what's going to make a difference in the enclosure. I also forgot to mention that porcilios do not curl up like a ball, like the other isopods. These will just stay like that. They never curl up, so that's an interesting fact about these awesome guys. So I can't wait for these guys to grow up. That's going to be so awesome. Those colors are so amazing on these guys. Okay, and next up is this background, this rock background for my collar lizard. I believe, if you guys watch Brian Varshak's videos, I believe this is the same kind of material background that he uses for his enclosures. I mean, it looks the same. Um, so I'm going to be putting that right there in these enclosures with my collar lizard. So really awesome for them to climb around and just do their thing on here and if I haven't already mentioned this I do plan on changing my color lizards enclosure that whole background you see that I don't want it to be all plain white so this is gonna make a difference putting that in the background I also want to add some excavated clay all over the place and just add a lot of heights and just make it awesome in there so this enclosure is gonna look amazing after I'm done right here 
I'm not sure of the name of the plants, but basically this covers up the ground. So I'm going to be putting that in these guys' enclosures and also might be adding it to my dart frogs as well. I really like these, <laughs> these little plants. They don't grow too high and they cover up the ground. So it's going to look really awesome in that live vivarium. And then at the door, they give you these free samples of bearded dragon pellets and also, what is this, turtle food pellets in a bag. So um, you get that every time you walk into a reptile show but i didn't pick up too much this time guys as in like supplies and stuff really excited for these two new additions and also you can count this as a new addition because these are basically like pets as well isopods i count them as pets <laughs> all right guys hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you haven't already watched the repticon video click right there to watch it today's post notification shout out goes to gail holmes thank you so much for turning the post notifications whoever else want a post notification shout out be sure you turn them on and then comment down below when done so i know who has done that thank you all for watching and i'll catch you in the next video peace out